Rick McGuire, welcome so much for joining us. Thank you. The town of Williston, I'm sure, is prepared, and we wanted to hear a little bit about how Williston is responding and your administration is responding to this special period brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, thank you for having uh, or giving me this opportunity. It's, uh, it's been a difficult time for everyone, and it's uh, good to uh, get a chance to talk with various people about the issues we're dealing with. So what's been the response in Williston? Do you, I mean, tell us about how just as a municipal entity, your staff, I imagine you all are at working remotely. How did that transition work out for you? Just right at the beginning. Well, it works um, relatively smoothly uh, and not everyone's working remotely. Uh, for example, uh, our first responders, police, fire, uh, many of our public works crew, the crew that tend to maintain our water system and sewer system, they can't work remotely. Uh, we do have a number that are working remotely. We also have a few that are working out of the town hall, but uh, it's a very, very limited crew. And I would say that uh, everyone responded very quickly to the situation and were very, um, adaptable to uh, the new reality that we all have to deal with. Tell us about the public safety preparedness. Well, uh, one of the first things of great concern to us is we wanted to continue to be able to provide the essential services that those agencies offer, the police and fire in particular. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that they remain healthy. And so we were um, early adopters of wearing uh, the proper personal protective equipment that everyone's now talking about. Um, and so uh, because of that, um, I'm ha happy to say at this point in time, uh, none of our town employees, including those that aren't first responders, have been sick with the virus at this point. And how else is public safety? What, do you, what would the people in Williston, what would you want them to know about the emergency preparedness of fire, EMTs, police? Well, I think the most important thing is we're ready and available to provide the service that uh, people expect and need. And this virus hasn't changed that. It's just changed a little bit of uh, the way we operate. Uh, for example, wearing personal protective gear to all uh, emergency medical calls, because you never know uh, who might be infected or who isn't. So um, it's important to have that kind of protocol in place. And, and so far we've been uh, successful in serving the needs of the community and at the same time protecting the health and safety of our employees. And is the clerk's office open? The clerk's office is open on a appointment only basis for people who need access to the uh, land records. Yeah, I remember um, Evan Teach said that there actually is quite a lot of activity because of so much refinancing that the land records needed to be open for title searches. Yes, there certainly was that pressure, but also I think a uh, number of title searchers weren't sure what the future was going to hold. So early on, they were trying to get in as much work as they possibly could. I think that's tail, um, kind of fallen off a little bit since the early push. And what about the parks? Are the parks open? The town parks are open, but many of the facilities are not. For example, the bathrooms are closed, the uh, playgrounds are closed, the tennis courts and uh, volleyball courts and are all closed. But we felt it was important to keep the parks open for people to exercise because exercise is an important part of remaining healthy. And so we, um, we have all kinds of hiking trails and bike paths uh, that people can use and are using uh, on a regular basis. Just tell us about how the select board is carrying out its business and how that adjustment has been to remote meetings. Well, it's uh, moved along relatively smoothly. Uh, there's a few little minor glitches with the technology, but people have adapted very quickly. The select board are continuing to meet on the regular basis, as is the uh, development review board in town. We have many other boards that um, whose missions aren't quite as critical. Uh, they're more advisory in nature, 
but those boards initially stopped meeting. However, we anticipate that they will start meeting on an as-needed basis uh, moving forward over the next couple months. And how, how is it for you to run the meetings remotely? Well, I'm getting used to it <laughs> because uh, we have uh, regular meetings now with uh, department heads and I have, uh, I'm a member of the local Rotary Club and uh, they meet remotely now, so it's getting to be secondhand. And what about your regional um, colleagues? Do you meet with each other to talk about the countywide response or the region-wide response? There have been no remote meetings of that nature, but there have been regular communications, uh, mostly through v uh, email. Uh, they're almost daily. There are a round of emails going around between the various managers of the Chittenden County communities. And uh, we're all sharing information about what we're doing, what's working, what isn't. Uh, there's a lot of cooperation going on. And what is your opinion of the governor's and the state level response to the, to the virus and the pandemic? Well, I think the governor's done an excellent job of responding. His response was earlier than most other states, which I think is gonna help us in the longer term. And uh, I think it's been very thorough and professional and uh, rooted in science. And it's all very appreciated by uh, the people of the Vermont, I'm sure. And is there a message that you would like to give the folks of Williston? Well, uh, I would say that, uh, first of all, the town has continued to provide its essential services. And we're, um, so that, that's something if they have any concerns about, uh, they shouldn't because we're doing our best to provide that. And as I said, part of that is maintaining or making sure we maintain the health of our own employees. And again, so far, we've been very successful in doing that. Um, I think one other important point is that people shouldn't let their guards down as the weather gets nicer and maybe the number of cases starts to dwindle. Uh, that is not the time to let down your guard uh, because uh, I think if anyone has studied the uh, last major pandemic, which is in 1917, 1918, uh, people let the guards down and uh, it came back. And in fact, the second wave in some areas of the country was far worse than the first wave. And so I think that's one important lesson. Um, and so we all need to practice the safety guidelines and, and rec requirements that are set down by the state. And uh, I think another important thing is to remember that this crisis will end. And in many respects, we will, um, emerge from this crisis. Um, well, it'll take some time, but we'll emerge from it, um, I think, stronger in many respects. Have you done financial planning, looking at the impact of the closing of businesses on Williston's revenue? Well, we certainly started that process. It's almost impossible to get too far into it, however, at this point, because there's too many variables, too many unknowns. Uh, it, it just any planning you do it will become obsolete within a week or two, um, probably. But uh, we have certainly given it some thought and we've taken some measures in anticipation of uh, a downturn in revenue, because I, I know that will happen. And uh, by that, I mean, we've um, put a partial freeze on spending, um, although we're towards the end of this fiscal year. So it's really next fiscal year that we're going to have to worry about even more than the current fiscal year. But to the extent we can save money this fiscal year, that will help next fiscal year. And so that, that is part of it. Um, so, you know, we, we've, we've started the process, but it's going to be an ongoing issue as we get more and better information moving forward. So the first couple of weeks when the shutdown happened, I know it was very intense for most organizations. Were there any examples of innovative problem solving that you've seen working with your colleagues or observed in other quarters? Well, I think adapting to the new technology was one big thing. And again, I, I'm uh, very pleased with the uh, what we've done. And it, it, frankly, it's been some of our younger employees, and I'm sure you've heard this before, that were um, they kind of took the ball and ran with it. And so they were, uh, their work was very much appreciated. Uh, and I think, um, again, early on, we were um, working, doing our best to protect our own employees so that, that we could be effective as the crisis emerged. 
Um, so um, and I think there was one other thought. Um, well, anyway, uh, I, um, oh, I, I think the other piece of it is the outreach efforts um, uh, in, in adapting again to the social isolation that we're all facing. Uh, our library in particular has had a wide range of different programs that they're offering remotely, getting people involved. I see neighborhoods doing that too, uh, trying to get their neighborhoods involved. Uh, yesterday, a, a parade of cars went by, uh, I suspect celebrating someone's birthday. So people are finding all kinds of ways to adapt to uh, the situation we have and make the best of it. And how's your family adapting? What are you doing to relax in your probably very little spare time? Well, uh, exercise is certainly an important piece of this. And um, I, I think the other piece is um, trying to find ways to keep the family connected because my family isn't all together. <laughs> And so we've got to find ways of uh, connecting people from different states. And in, in fact, I have a son that lives in another country. And so uh, we're going to have a game night uh, this coming Saturday, although for him it's game morning because <laughs> he's in a different uh, time zone. But um, anyway, I, I think that'll be a fun thing. And uh, using the technology, obviously, is an important part of trying to keep us connected. So uh, that's, that's uh, an important piece of this. What kind of games are you going to play? Well, I suspect knowing my family, it's going to be a trivia type game. Okay. <laughs> That's good. It would be kind of hard to, well, it might be hard to play Scrabble, although I figure, I'm sure people have figured that out. Well, this one involves, uh, of course, uh, the video piece uh, using computers. We also have to have a cell phone to give your answers to each question. So it'll be interesting to see if all that technology works for us. Well, I hope you have fun. And I really appreciate your time, Rick. I know you're busy. And on behalf of all of us in Chittenden County and certainly the town of Williston, thank you so much for keeping, keeping the municipal government going and the wheels of democracy turning, even in this very strange and uncertain time. Well, again, thank you for this opportunity. And I hope you and your organization uh, survive this crisis as well as everyone else, because we, we appreciate the work that you do and, and your organization in helping to um, you know, televise or show the videos of the various town meetings. I think that's an important uh, service that you provide. Well, thank you. That continuity is really important, especially yes. once you figured out how to have the meetings to archive them publicly. So right. we're glad to help. And thanks so much, Rick. Okay. Thank you, Gwen. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.